Hi hi! In today's video, we're going to be walking over the new features that WireOS brings to Vector 1.0 and Vector 2.0 since they can all be unlocked now. We'll start with the basic features by, that you can access just by talking to Vector. Uh, like for example, Hey Vector, what's the weather? As you can see, the lights on his backpack have also changed. This indicates that he's running WireOS. Another thing you can do with WireOS is, Hey Vector, may I ask you a question? Tell me about Joe Biden. So yeah, most of his functions function exactly the same as stock, uh, stock uh, vector operating system, but it's just slightly more optimized under the hood, as well as running a newer version, as well as being compiled with a newer version of Yocto Linux. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm not going to say it, but you can see in the details. Now let's go into the uh, CCIS menu, so we can see what that looks like. Yep, that's the same. Except it's purple for some reason. I think that's intended, but I don't know. Yeah, there. That's my Wi-Fi network and IP address, I guess. It's running WireOS. That's the serial number. Hardware 8. Huh, Hardware 8. Oh, yeah, that's Vector 2.0. Uh, and, yeah, you can also do a self-test, which I'm not going to show because I'm going to cover it in a separate video. Now I can exit. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, another thing you can do is obviously time. Hey Vector, what's the time? 12.45 Yeah, that just shows the time. Let's try a fist bump. Hey Vector, give me a fist bump. But yeah, those are the most features on the outside. Now let's take a look on the inside, like WebViz, uh, the other thing, and like controlling him from your computer using his IP. I'll join you back on my computer. See ya. So I am now on my computer, and let's start by looking at Vector's environment variables, or whatever they're called again, I forgot. Um, so yeah, you have to be on the same network as Vector. You can see Vector's network by putting him on his charger, double pressing his backpack button and lifting his lift up and down, as I already showed in the previous part. But then after that, you can go to his IP address, which you can also see by doing the exact same thing. Let me just do that right now. So my Vector's IP is 192.168.128. So I type that in. On 28, and then we want to go to
uh, and, com and command line startup. So console variables is a very, uh, very nice thing because you can actually see a lot of things on how he works. Yes, there's a lot of options and you can customize them all and it's amazing. For example, you can customize his vision. You can customize his touch sensor. Customize his UI communication, network, and a lot of other things like neural networks, his face, his face selector, uh, debug stuff like crashing him intentionally and cube spinner behaviors yeah so that lets you uh that lets you just do that i guess but uh n but then uh next up if we change the last number of the port to nine we can look at his animation functions but there are a lot less here but they're a lot more interesting in my opinion because for example if you go to audio you can stream audio i'm pretty sure to his speaker and if you go to face, you can give him a, you can customize every single aspect of his procedural eyes. Like for example, like full white test stuff like that. Yeah, that just gives him like a CRT monitor test screen. Uh, gamma type. I let's see what that looks like. Oh, that just makes him a lot brighter. Okay, what does this look like? Same thing. Nice. None looks more normal, so I'm gonna keep that. Line types, like anti-aliasing, that just looks the same to me. So I'll keep eight. Interpolation type, Let's see what that looks like. That looks more or less the same. So I'll keep that at linear. But yeah, you can do a lot of things with uh, this menu. A lot, a lot of things actually. And um, you can reset his face. You can make his face unalive, which basically means they're the same. Scan lines are not implemented in WireOS, so you can't actually customize them. But you can do things with the text-to-speech, like changing the voice pitch and everything. Glitch lights, mic data, uh, voice commands, fall time. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can change here. Uh, next up, if we go back to 8888, and go back from console variables. So we have to delete console variables here. We can also see his live statuses, like performance, like CPU frequency, temperature, uptime, idle clock, real time clock, memory claimed, and so on. We can see his processes, like web server, cloud engine, animation, robot. And we can see his engine, and they're like batteries, battery temperature, charging, low battery, wheel speed accelerometer gyroscope backpack touch sensor a lot of a lot of things uh performance mate uh metric you can uh you can click you have to click dump all or is dump yeah dump all and then render graph and you can see everything that he's doing how oh, nice it's just not rendering yeah this is really development it you can't always have it work okay next up we can go to webviz which is uh slash web viz okay that's not how you spell it oh yeah let me just quickly look up how to spell it Okay, I think it's with a Z. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, let's find out. Luckily, the Vector Discord server, the Vector and Friends Discord server, which I can link in the description, has a lot of help, and uh, you can always uh, you can always find help there. Like for example, if I search web viz on the development section. So yeah, it's web viz.html. Okay. There we go. Finally.
So here you can uh, you can basically trigger all of his animations and everything without voice. Uh, like you can enable power save. You can just have him sleep. You can see all his social presence graphs. The nav map is really interesting because you can just see his navigation. Um, observed objects, what he's seeing, cubes, faces, uh, sound reactions. Oh great, it's not working, but you can see I'm clicking my fingers around him and you can see here he's hearing where the sound comes from. Touch, uh, visual scheduling monitor, mediator, yep. This is, I don't understand this, but awesome. Beat detector. Oh, he just heard me. <laughs> Loud intense, CPU, like a graph, I think. Oh, wait, I didn't click it. Oh, no. Oh, no. How nice, the Google Chrome just crashed. Great, I love, I love Google Chrome. It's such a nice application. Go back. Perfect. But then if we change the 8888 to 8889, we can take a look at more functions like audio events, CPU profiling, microphone data, which doesn't work perfectly. Oh yeah, there's more data on this one, huh? Speech recognition, animations, yeah, really interesting. If we go back, however, we can do intents, and then we can actually trigger his intents. Like, for example, clock time. And then we can hit trigger. And he just told me the time. So yeah, that's the main features of YROS. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.